Laser Dome is Lowy Town's premier laser tag arena and video arcade. And it's here that retired lady wrestler Sulin Thorsten Forte came to have a friendly shootout with the Willie Tunes. Sulin moved cautiously through the dimly lit space age corridors of Sector 4 in search of her opponent. I know you're here, she thought. He likely took three hits by now. Princess knew it. Princess Unicorn knew she was right. But turned the corner anyway. Zap! Princess Unicorn's chest sensor blinked and beeped. Ah, shucks, she said. I'm out of the game. As Sulin climbed the steps to Sector 5, she thought about the other players she barely got paced. She narrowly avoided Sophie Cat in the underbrush of Sector 1, but took a blast from Etsy Bitsy in the caverns of Sector 2, and she melted Belinda Bat in the dungeon of Sector 3. Laser Dome's arena is divided into eight worlds, each with warps that the players can enter and exit from. Entering Sector 5, Sulin found herself in the middle of a Wild West boomtown. Calamity Jane would feel right at home here, she muttered. Well, Lady Rassler and Rainbow Bear emerging from the saloon. Afraid y'all are gonna have to slap leather with me. She stepped onto the middle of the street and assumed a gunfire stance. Gladly, said Sulin, reholstering her blaster. Both she and Rainbow stared face to face and eye to eye. And then quick as lightning, they both drew their blasters and fired. Zap. You got me, gasped Rainbow, tumbling to the arena floor. Good shot on, partner, said Sulin before entering the neutral zone, where she sat and took a respite, thinking about who she might face next. For she was one of a few remaining players who had about HP or more. And two other players she had already eliminated. And 
and another was about to be added to the list. Blood! 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 cried Selfie as her sensor beeped. And death! Nice performance, Sophie. Say, Rampa. But you're still eliminated from the game. Billy Hedgehog smiled ruefully as he entered the cave. While up ahead in Sector f 6, Hiroshi Raccoon and Itsy Bitsy Spider were playing a game of cat and mouse. Looks like my years of playing Sly Cooper are paying off, said Hiroshi, dodging laser fire. Don't count your wops before they're earned, Gamer Boy, said Itsy Bitsy. And somewhere in the center of the arena, Panda Ling stood waiting patiently. Su Lin, finding Sector 6 devoid of players, proceeded into Sector 7, a post-apocalyptic city street. She found Itsy Bitsy. Her HP deleted, see it atop a trash can. Gamer boy got the better of me, the little spire said. Konnichiwa, said Hiroshi, standing at the door to to the center of the arena. Wanna play cops and robbers? Before Sulan could answer, Billy came in firing his blaster. If you wanna play video games, he said, we can go to the arcade downstairs. Zap. Good shot, Billy. Said Hiroshi, firing back. Zap. Game's not over yet, Sly Cooper fan. Said Billy, firing back. Zap. Both fired their blasters until their HP was all spent. Well, thanks for wasting my time, said Su Lin, pretending to be disappointed. Well, shall we head to the arcade? asked Hiroshi. Boys, Dotsy Bitsy and Sulin. Entering Sector 8, Sulin found herself in the middle of a Roman amphitheater with holographic spectators in the grandstands. I almost thought you wouldn't come, said a voice. Then this one here would have no one to play with.
It was Silver Scent, dressed as a Roman Emperor. Gesturing to Panda Ling. Hail Caesar, she said. We who are doomed salute you. Yeah, yeah, said Silver Scent. Just remember that the arcade closes at 8 p.m. Zap. Without hesitation, both Sulin and Panda Ling fired upon each other's sensor vests until Panda Ling's sensor vest blinked and beeped. And she dropped to her knees, sobbing in defeat. Su Lin gave a thumbs up to Silversent, who returned the gesture. As Su Lin stepped into the exit warp, she turned to the viewer. If you enjoyed my laser tag adventure, she said, be sure to give this video a like and a comment. Until next time, game over.